And welcome back to Later Today. Our next guest has had the pleasure of kissing at least two of the hottest hunks in Hollywood. First, she locked lips with the heavenly Brad Pitt in Meet Joe Black. Now, the envy of American girls everywhere. Claire Forlani stars opposite Freddie Prinze Jr. in Boys and Girls. I literally did everything in my power to make sure that he dumped me. Well, obviously you didn't like him. No! That's the thing, is I thought it was just a summer fling, but I actually, I, I started to like him. Oh, what about you? I mean, did you get any this summer? Uh, yeah. She said, no. You've got the right idea. You know, we should do this again sometime. I mean, not the whole crying thing, but... You know, this. Sure. Good. Cute scene. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Claire Forlani. You have such a difficult job mm -hmm. working with Brad Pitt and then Freddie Prinze Jr. Yeah. How do you even handle the difficulties of life with that? It's very stressful. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can imagine it would be very, very difficult. Yeah, the kissing I, scenes, my God, hazard pay. I know. Therapy has to go to three times a week instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we all had that problem. Yeah. Anyway, Boys and Girls, fun movie, saw it yesterday. But I understand uh -huh. that Freddie Prinze Jr. was mm -hmm. kind of a prankster on the set all the time. Yes. Tell me about it. He tortured me. He tortured you? He extorted money. He tried to break my treadmill. Oh my God, somebody call Nightly News. Yeah. Nightly News, this yeah. is a story. It is. Really? Yes, he did. <laughs> Why would he do that? Um, I think he thought it was fun, and, and really with me, it just made my anxiety level go through the roof. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun, right? You had fun, it, it looked was, like you had a great was, time making the movie. It was so much fun making the movie. And um, we actually said last night was the premiere, and Jason and Freddie and I, we just said it's the best time we've had on a film. And I actually didn't realize that making a comedy, it's, you have a much more playful time. Like, the material's more playful, so you end up just being more playful. And right. It's good. Having a good time. You know yeah. what's funny is people don't realize this, but you actually grew up in London. Yes. Of course, you have a British accent, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize that watching the film. Thank God. No, no, I'm serious. You I did. could have been in trouble if you knew. Is it hard? <laughs> is it hard to do an American accent? Or how did you pick it up? How did you learn it? Well, I've done quite a few films now with it, so it, it's um, a little easier. But, you know, I just go around just copying people. All right, do, do talking, American you know. accent. Like, yeah. say, in New York. How about yeah. New York? You know, like, what's up? And how you doing? <laughs> you want a cup of coffee? I think that's Jersey. That's oh, the Jersey oh, accent. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. California, you grew up in uh, okay. California. Do a California accent. How do they talk over there? I think that's, you mean, the valley? Like, oh, damn. I'm, like, I'm stuck oh. in New York. I've been talking to my driver, Dom. You know, Dom. That's Dominic, right. yeah. So you get it with the New I'm York like stuck. thing. I'm like, I'm stuck in New York right now. <laughs> okay. yeah. let's, let's talk about your character in Boys and Girls. Yeah. And she plays kind of a free spirit, and Freddie Prinze plays a um, sort of a nerd kind of guy. Yeah, he's planned his whole life. Right. And I have no plans. Is that you in real life? Um... Some days. <laughs> <laughs> but how about in relationships? When you're in a relationship, or have you found the right guy? No. Are you looking? Sure. Should we put it out there? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll, get flooded, we'll get flooded with email if I put it great, out there. Great, great. Like Hand it over. <laughs> yeah. No, Freddie's character, is uh, he's got no plans, and we become best friends, and it's about opposites attracting, and then what happens when you have sex and does it change everything? Mm -hmm. it, and what did you think after you made the movie? I mean, it's about the opposites and they attract, they become yeah. friends, kind of in mating and dating in the yeah. year 2000. What do you think after making the movie? Can you sleep together and still be friends? It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Not from practical it's, experience, I'm sure, yeah, from no, making the movie. No, um, I, I think that it, it, sh it's, it shows that it... it it's very hard, and it does change everything. And I don't think there is any going back. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about something else that you kind of love, which is gambling. I read yeah. this about you. You, you find did? it relaxing? Yes, gambling? I find it zen. Really? <laughs> yeah. I guess if you're winning, it's kind of zen. No, even if you're losing. Really? I, yeah, I have something about just sitting at the table and straight with strangers and count to 21. Really? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to show me. I've never been to Las Vegas to gamble. I really never have. I know that's kind of weird. Come with me. Yeah. <laughs> We're going on a gambling we'll 
trip. Fun. Yeah. Honey, I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm going with Claire Gambling. Yes. Okay. And you have an allowance too, I hope. I, well, yeah, I'll find one. Perfect. I'll get it from Jody, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. You're such a doll. And this was only her third television interview, by the way. And you did a marvelous job. Thanks. <laughs> Everybody stick around.